Welcome back, Hookaholics. Brown Mouth Fishing. Retail Red, once again. Box 87. So, uh, like I said, every month I'm going to grab one of these retail uh, MTV Elite boxes. I get the monthly subscription box, and uh, this happens to be the retail version. So you don't have to wait for the postman to slow roll, deliver, and snail mail your package. You can go right out to your local sporting goods store and grab one of these and they have a series of numbers. The only difference being, under my assumption, my belief, all number 87 boxes should be identical, uh, say, uh, the colors. Um, so you should have the same basic baits, uh, but different possible different color uh, combinations. So uh, let's crack into this retail red exhibit of MTV's Elite. So. These boxes, uh, they put these little sleeves on the outside, and then they have an inner box, standard MTV box on the inside. And uh, let's just see what we got going on. Oh, I don't have to worry about tape on this one. Put away this. Waiting on my Angler's Hall to return so I can start getting more products. Hopefully they'll show up. Um, here we go. So let's get a first peek at this retail rendition of MTV's Elite. It's a cool thing. Oh, what's in the box? Sticker. Slip. Nice cool little sticker on the top. That's pretty awesome. I love scorpions. I, I truly, truly love scorpions. <laughs> so, uh, so let's, uh, let's dive into this uh, very telling box from MTV. First, Weston's Hypo Twist. Oh, this is an oldie but a goodie. So here's the Weston Lures Hypo Twist. Again, it's got that boot tail uh, free spinning like a um, tackle sprinkler frog on a hard bait swim bait body. So uh, let's just say let's add this to our giveaway for Christmas in July. Uh, we'll do that. That's an awesome bait. Um, unfortunately, they don't give you prices on these. You can check out my other videos, and you'll see where I've actually uh, dropped the, the price on that. You can go through my videos, look in the expanded des uh, descriptions, and you'll see the Weston's Hypo Twist. And right there will be the, uh, the Carl's Bait and Tackle Mystery Tackle Box Retail Price Evaluation. Uh, and then you can actually click on the timestamp and go straight to my review on that bait, my thoughts and, and processes. And that goes for all of my MTB uh, videos you'll see a price description and a timestamp uh, that allow you to skip to that bait if that's a specific lure that intrigues you. Um, next up, Strike Pro Beakster. Strike Pro Beakster. Okay, so we got a little tournament grade jerk bait. This is in IU. It's a four to six foot floating jerk bait. It is nine sixteenths and five sixteenths wide, nine sixteenths. 3 and 9 sixteenths long, that makes more sense. 3 inches, 9 sixteenths of an inch long, floating, 4 to 6 foot diving, jerkbait. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's not suspending, it's floating, which is good if you have a lot of uh, fallen timber, submerged timber, because if you do get kind of knotted up, you can let it loose. Hopefully it'll back off and float up for you and free itself. Um, I prefer uh, a suspending bait. However, always remember you can go out and get the stick on weights and do a little lead work and uh, and get this thing to suspend perfectly. If you start out with a floating bait, it's way simpler to turn it into a suspending jerk bait. Change out your hooks for slightly heavier hooks, add in some stick on lead weights, and you've got a money bait for sure. Set that aside. Yozuri's Crystal Minnows Freshwater. So we got the Yozuri Crystal Minnow, another jerk bait. This one is also a floating. 
Um, hence the Crystal Minnow Freshwater F, F for floating, right there in the denominations. You see that F there in the brackets. Um, again, it's all Japanese, so I'm not going to be able to decipher any what's on the back. Uh, there is no color listed, so where I'd like to say blue back, uh, you know, blue back minnow, I'm just going to say that this is uh, Golden Craw. It's Golden Craw. It's what it is. So it's in the color of Golden Craw. Somebody's going to enjoy this in that giveaway. So that's going into the pot. Next up, Big Bite Baits Pro Swimmers in a 3.8 size. Big Bite Baits. That can't be. Can it? There we go. Big Bite Baits, a little bit of paddle tail swim baits, Kitex style, in that crystal. Clear. Let's see. Uh, 3.8 swimmers. Great, great bait for, um, you know, for a buzz bait. Great to swim just on a wet belly weighted hook. Somebody can enjoy that as too. I've got tons and tons of paddle tails. Guggen Squad's Zinger. Let's see if this is in a different color. Nope, Sexy Shad again. I've already included one of these Sexy Shads in our giveaway. Um, so maybe I'll add this to another giveaway at some other point. Uh, package a little damaged. But, uh, so you got the Sexy Shad, or, yeah, Sexy Shad for the 3 8 ounce Colorado Widow Leaf Combo. That's an awesome bait. Can't go, uh, can't say bad things about them. And I have a video, I'll leave a card up there for you to check out on um, tying off, you know, spinner baits or buzz baits or any bait that is a wire bait that doesn't have a dedicated line eye. Um, so they, the Guggens, put in this little green band right there across that allows you to, uh, you know, to tie that on without much fuss. So there's that, which is awesome. Uh, my, my solution to baits that don't have something like that to prevent the line from moving up and down, uh, again, I'll leave it in that card above. So there's that. Uh, four more to go. Big Bite Baits Creature Bait. So we've got their rendition of the Brush Hog here. Yep, little Big Bite Baits Brush Hog style bait. And Green Pumpkin Red Flake. So it's a little trench hog, brush hog, analog. Again, I have some uh, great video on how to properly rig these so that you get the most action and the best hookup potential out of your brush hogs. And we have next, Missile Baits Twin Turbo. So we have these little curly tail twin turbo in cinnamon purple. These are an interesting body style. I haven't seen these. So it's basically a flat pour craw, twin turbo, twin craw. Great probably for a little net head. Um, certainly good on a small jig. Um, so that's pretty cool. Got those. Next up, we have Bruiser Baits Crazy Craws. Bruiser Baits Crazy Craws. Uh, crazy Craws on four count black blue flake. Okay. So. These look all ultra buoyant. Oh, they got some pretty nice flanges, so I can expect they have quite the kick to them. So there's those. I like those. Um, blue black is an awesome color also, especially in muddy or dirty water. And finally, we have the Harmony's Fishing Series EWG hooks. Uh, again, I've included these in the uh, giveaway as well. So. Uh, you know, I don't need to send you a thousand packs of hooks, but there's uh, plenty of hooks in there in different styles, including uh, the hooks that I particularly enjoy for my Ned rigging, uh, for my drop shot rigging, etc., etc. I've included a few hooks uh, so you can get right out on the water the day you arrive with that package. So, with that and a Dibble Digest, uh, again, another Where Do Anglers Poop? how to tie a palomar knot, and where, what, when, and why, I've gotten like six of these specific Dibble Digests. So I haven't had any new information from these to instill upon anybody, including myself. With that all said, tell me down below, what do you think of uh, this box? Do you think these retail boxes are worth it? This was box, again, 
number 87. Um, do you think there's value in these retails or are you just like me, kind of seeing the same baits you're getting in your monthlies without any real serious differentiation between the two? I mean, honestly, I enjoy the fact that I can go straight to the store at a whim if there's a store nearby and just pick it off the shelf. I know it's not going to arrive late. I know it's not going to be damaged. Um, but that all being said, I just as soon pay $42 and get it uh, rather than go to the store and pay $44 or whatever for this plus the sales tax applicable by your local sales tax because obviously you're in New York, you're going to spend more, California will spend more here in New Jersey uh, versus, you know, people in Delaware or, or Virginia or wherever. Um, so give me your opinions. Do you think these have been worth it with the several that I've uh, shown you? <clears throat> I'll keep going as long as I get positive feedback or any feedback, to be honest, um, because I like the interaction. And uh, again, a lot of this stuff is going in that giveaway, as I said. So I hope you all will enjoy. Keep staying tuned. Keep paying attention. I'm going to keep dropping little questionnaires and hints <clears throat> on things like, uh, like I did with what was your finesse technique uh, desires, what was your favorite lines, uh, what is this lore, what is that lore. And we're going to add it together as a community to make a nice com community giveaway uh, to some lucky hookaholic out there. From me to you, as always, I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace. I know it's lonely at the tail, but that's not by speculation. But the position that I got, I climb too high to fall, went too hard to drop.